By everybody. Everybody. Um. <clears throat> I think this might be good right there. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? What up? What up, bruh? What up? Shout out to my nigga Keith. All the way from the B State days. Appreciate that, man. You know what I mean? Appreciate you, uh. I mean, anybody on here, man, go follow him. Go follow uh, Omar, man. My nigga Keith, man. Go follow him, man. It's a good dude right there. It's a good dude. Let me wave. Let me wave back at some of these people up here. Hey, so I'm just going to, um, you know what I mean? See what's good right quick, man. Hold on. I mean, much love, much love to whoever sent that, man. Much love. Much love back, you understand? Uh, Queen and J. Scott, I'm down here in San Antonio, Texas. So, man, I titled this right here, Remembering John Singleton. <sighs> man, so shortly after all this, you know, stuff going on, especially with Nipsey Hussle, you know, I just put out this report. Uh, it's been like a little over a week, maybe, that uh, John Singleton's been in the hospital. Uh, and, you know, he had a severe stroke. If anybody knows anybody that's had a stroke, um, you know, stroke is no play thing. You understand what I'm saying? A stroke is when basically oxygen's been cut off to the brain. You know what I mean? And... You know, you can try to prevent it as much as you can. But, you know, sometimes that stuff is just something that, you know, happens. You understand? And depending on, um, yeah, depending on how bad the, the stroke is, it depends on how early they, whoever's around you, it depends on how early they catch it. So if they catch it early enough, you know what I mean, <clears throat> some some of the effects can't can kind of be reversed. Some of the effects can kind of like, you know what I mean, uh, be, you know, worked out, things like that. Now, in John Singleton's case, from my understanding, he was in the hospital. And then at some point in time, when from when he entered the hospital to uh, being in the hospital, he had a severe stroke. Now, they put out a whole bunch of things and articles and reports and blogs that you know what I mean that he had suffered a heart attack but I don't think he suffered a heart attack you understand so you know I'm just bringing this up just to give some type of background on what they saying is taking taking place with him now I don't know his you know his uh health condition I don't know nothing about that <laughs> But if you've seen any interviews with John Singleton, man, you just kind of you just kind of look at him, man, and he look like he. I'm 
I'm not gonna say he was diabetic, but he looked like he had something going on. You know what I'm saying? Like you can look in his eyes. Uh, he had like black circles around his his eyes, man. So, you know, sometimes that's like a, a indication of something going on. You know what I mean? Rather it be alcoholism or not taking care of yourself, stuff like that. And if you see any pictures of him, like especially when he first started out directing, like Boys in the Hood, till now, he gained a lot of weight. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason why I bring all this up is because John Singleton, John Singleton was that dude, man. Like, I, I'm going to feel this one, man. If you someone who grew up in the 90s, you're going to feel this right here. I mean, you had boys in the hood. You had higher learning. You had poetic justice. I mean, he did like the first Shaft movie with Samuel Jackson in it. Um, he was working on that Snowfall, which was basically a TV show, kind of predicated off of the life of um, Freeway Ricky Ross, I believe. Um, see, like these are the type of people where you know we're gonna be missing. We're gonna be missing the John Singleton. You understand what I'm saying? John Singleton. You know, he was supposed to be working on that Tupac movie and, you know, things happen and it didn't pop off like the way he wanted it to. What up, Kimberly? What up, dude? But, um, you know, he's somebody that's going to be missed, yo. He's going to be missed. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of other projects he had coming out or in the works, but it's going to be missed, man. It's going to be missed. You know what I mean? Now, this is the month of April, man. And April's almost done, but it's like the month of April, man. Black people, black people have, have it's been a lot that's going on. Not with just black people, which is people, period, in the month of April. You understand what I'm saying? April's been like one of the bloodiest months for black people in recent history. You know what I mean? Um, that's when they celebrate Hitler's birthday in, in April and stuff like that, but this John Singleton, man. Like, higher learning was my shit, man. Higher learning was my shit. I may watch that tonight. You understand? Higher learning was my shit. It's naive, man. Higher learning was, see, like, if anybody that, 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 and that's why I'm saying, like, the 90s, the 90s, like, everybody, if you listen to everybody, will, like, you know, especially old heads, elders, they be like, yeah, man, in my day, in my day. But if you were somebody who grew up in the 90s, if you grew up in the '90s, man, it was a lot that went down in the '90s. It was a lot of it was a lot of content that was out here for us to study that shit from in the '90s. You understand what I'm saying? The '90s was a pivotal era when it came to music, movies, entertainment. The '90s was the shit. Why you think? Why you think all these? Hip hop artists that were that were doing their thing in the nineties. Why you think they still getting booked right now? It's because in the nineties was a time period where if you grew up in the nineties, <laughs> hey, shut your ass up. No, no, get away from me. No, go. Sorry, man, it's damn dog, man. But if you grew up in the 90s, man, you understand that it was a lot. It was a lot that was put out there that we may not really even grasp until right now, man. It's like things that you had to kind of watch over and over. And, man, John Singleton had his had his his stamp, seal and approval in the 90s, yo. You can't tell me John Singleton was not that nigga or not that dude in the 90s. I'm trying not to cuss, man. I know they will flag you. They'll, they'll, you know, they don't, they won't show you your stuff. That, but in the '90s, man, he was that guy. He was that guy, and I mean, yeah, it's been decades later since he's kind of been like an influential person. But yo, at the same time, you gotta understand, man. If you grew up in the '90s, you should be, you should be. This, this is a day to day that you should be trying to. 
If you have any kids, you should be trying to show your kids anything that was popping off in the 90s, man. You'd be surprised, man, on how much these kids don't know nothing, man. These kids don't know nothing. I'm telling you, man, it's a lot of kids out here, man, that are being shown nothing. Nothing. It's like we straying away. We letting these kids kind of grow up the way they want to grow up rather than trying to give them some type of foundation and knowledge off of something that we were a part of. You understand what I'm saying? If you grew up in the 90s, man, you should be showing, I don't care if you got kids, God kids, if you got nieces and nephews, man, you should be showing them a lot of material and content from the 90s, B. For real, for real. You ask a kid right now, hey, do you and and listen to me, man, like when 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 it used to be a point in time where kids see nowadays, man, parents be acting like they scared. They be acting like they scared to show kids content that you know they may or may not should be watching. But let's 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 not get it twisted. As a parent or parental guidance person, you should be trying to influence your kid or influence kids to let them know that yeah, this is real life situations. But in this particular thing you watching, it should be a lesson learned. You understand what I'm saying? A lesson. Le no, move. A lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? In the 90s, we were bringing back consciousness because we're the babies today. Yeah, all day. All day. We are. We are the products of that. You know what I'm saying? We got to just make sure that we get into the. Hey! We got to make sure we get into the mind frame of carrying on the torch, you know what I'm saying? Actually putting things in motion. And not get caught up in this social media consciousness. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm somebody that wants to do something. I want. I, I feel as if what I do on the social media is a lot more than what some of these other people that are so-called in the industry. I mean, shit. At least I try to get on here and kick some type of knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not a master teacher by no means, but I try to stay aware, man. I try to stay conscious, man. And I'm at the point where I am ready to get mobile. I am ready to just invest my time and my money and my soul and to try to liberate our people. And I understand it comes with a price. I understand it comes with, you know what I mean, not able to save and do for everybody. But at least I want, I want to say that I play my part. You understand what I'm saying? You should be able to at least say, hey, I play my part in helping my my kid or helping a young person become a better melanated person. That's what that's what a goal should be. Getting my nephews and parents, and that's what's up right there. That's what's up. Every like if you black, I don't understand how you're not watching Hidden Colors. By now, if you don't know about Hidden Colors, I don't know what to tell you, black ass. I don't know. But nigga, in 2019. Every black person in this country should have at least seen Hidden Colors 1. At least the first one, nigga. What I want to say is, getting back to John Singleton, man, that, you know, he was an influential person. And if you watch any of his movies, all his movies had real content in his movies. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? If you watch any, <clears throat> like, uh, Boys in the Hood. I mean, of course, that's a classic. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, shit. You look at Higher Learning, man. Higher Learning was one of the best movies. Yeah. Yeah. But we ain't we ain't gonna wake we ain't gonna wake everybody up though. <laughs> we ain't gonna wake wake everybody up though, my brother. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't going to happen. I think that because you have people that's in office, especially president now, you have people that are a lot more aware. But that's because they've only they've been made to be aware. You understand what I'm saying? If you ain't if you're not aware of what's going on around you, then 
yeah, you 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 sleep. Some of these people can stay asleep, y'all. Some of these people be talking that coonery and buffoonery, man. I ain't with all that. Hidden <clears throat> Colors is highly recommended. Yes, indeed it is. Listen, man. How, hidden Colors should be shown in schools. You understand what I'm saying? It should be shown in schools. You know, I just hope that somebody, somebody comes with Glass Shield. Was that a movie? Glass Shield. What was that? Yeah, Boys in the Hood is definitely the foundation. Glass Shield. Was that a was that a movie? Was that a movie that John Singleton did? You gonna have me try to look that up, Omar. You had to try. You had to have me looking that up, though, bro. But he sh he sh he should be a blueprint, man. <clears throat> that's one of the things that you have to do, man. It's like, I work in the school system, and then I see how these little kids are, man. These little kids, a lot of the reason why these little kids are lost is because no one is no one is guiding these young people. You ain't got no old head, no elder in there trying to show some of these little kids things that they were brought up on that made them some type of decent person. That want to know, that's it, man. The ones that just want to know the truth. That's it. Facts, sir. That's it. Those that just want to know the truth, man. And to know the truth means you know yourself. And when you know yourself, there's many things that you can do out here, man. Yeah, with Ice Cube. I thought so. John Singleton, John Singleton, uh, John Singleton, uh, directed that movie. John Singleton directed that movie. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't know John Singleton directed that movie. Yeah, that, that movie was hard. That movie was good, too. You know what I'm saying? That 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 Glass Shield, that movie was good, too, with Ice Cube in it playing. I believe he was, like, in, um, was it based, like, in South Africa or something like that? What up, Josh? What up, though? <coughs> Josh, boy, I ain't, I ain't seen you in a minute, sir. But, um, yeah, man, John Singleton was that guy, man. John Singleton was that guy, man. You know what I'm saying? John Singleton was that dude. You know what I mean? I mean, he was supposed to be doing the Tupac movie. You know what I mean? He was supposed to be on there. You know what I mean? Um, nah, there's no big homies. The most disappointing thing that, that I see out here, because, like, I'll be honest with you, man. Like, for you to, for you to like, this day and age right now, not even now, man. I'm just saying, period, man. You, you, we can even take it to, 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 to the movie Scarface. In the movie Scarface, Tony Montana said, look, man, when you get the money, you get the power. When you get the power, you get the respect. And see, what I'm disappointed in is that, man, you got all these people talking like they got bread, they got money, they got this, they got that. But they ain't really doing nothing for the kids, man. You know, they ain't doing no no seminars. Nobody's doing no lecturing. Nobody's doing no nothing for these little kids, man. They're not doing it. They're not doing that. Like, if I got bread, if I got bread, nigga, I'm not about to hold my bread and not spend it and give it back to the community, bro. That's just how I've been cut from that cloth, man. And I refuse to, to, to let that light not let us straight. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they need a lot of love. They need a lot of love. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, they need a lot of love. They need a lot of love. They need a lot of love. You know what I mean? They need a lot of love. And that's what I'm saying. Like, when you had people like John Singleton who had imagery, he had imagery to basically show people how to how to kind of look and he showed different he showed different Im Im imagery you know images of real people man look at look at all the movies you look at all the movies that john singleton has done he had movies that had often often authenticity you know what i'm trying to say he has some authentic ish in his work 
So when you saw his when you saw his projects, you you looked at it, you be like, damn, I know somebody like that. I know somebody like him. I know somebody like I mean poetic justice, man. Poetic justice. Uh, Viacom is what happened to Teen Summit. Robert Johnson selling BET is what happened to Teen Summit. When you go back, man, that it was Teen Summit. Um, uh, shit, what was that? The one, uh, what's the show with Donnie Simpson? Man, you had a lot of shows on BET that was influential. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just wish that John Singleton would have just kept coming out with content that you know just kept reflecting the the, the the period you know i mean he did baby boy baby boy was supposed to be for tupac you understand what i'm saying baby boy was a good movie though baby boy was a good movie though <clears throat> you know what i'm saying baby boy was a real good movie because that's that was some subliminal that was some subliminal ish he was doing because baby boy is really relevant to this day it's a lot. It's a lot of dudes out here that have been raised by single mothers that have been going through the ringer with dudes. So, you know, at least at least his mom try to in the movie. At least his mom try to show him and give him things on how to try to be a man. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's the that's the fine line between reality and fiction. Is that in reality you got a lot of single mothers out here that are on that bullshit, and that's something that we don't want to accept or talk about. There's a lot of black women out here on that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? You know, raising these little dudes to be moist, raising these dudes to have a, a Section Eight mentality. You know what I mean? Wanting to beg and ask and think that shit is just supposed to be entitled to get. You understand what I'm saying? It's a lot of that out here, yo. It's a lot of that out here. You understand what I'm saying? So, at least you had images and imagery like Baby Boy that kind of dove into. And Tyrese played it well. Tyrese played that shit well. Tyrese played it well. You know what I mean? But, um. Shit, man. You know, more, more, and more and more of you know, and then you know, shit with Prince. Like, <clears throat> we gotta, we gotta be, we gotta be more like all this influence that we have received, all this influence we've received from people like John Singleton, people like Nipsey Hussle, people like Prince, people like Michael Jackson. We gotta start. We gotta start like embodying that, and, and doing our own thing with that, and creating things. Really, you know, what I'm saying I don't know. Uh, let's just be honest. And I don't know low boule shit. And I don't know, um, you know, sororities and fraternities. Like yo, like that. That's all that stuff is there. But we need something grassroots level. We need something grassroots level. Oh yeah. All this goes back to slavery. All this goes back to slavery. All of it goes back. Anything that black people go through in this country, and you was born in this country, everything's associated and affiliated with, with slavery. The way we treat each other, the way we act towards each other, the way we um do things with each other. Yeah, that's all based off slavery. And our kids you know what I'm saying? Like your mama's mama was a product of slave. You understand what I'm saying? If you have a grandmother, and I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I was I was raised in the eighties and nineties. You understand what I'm saying? So if you had a grandparent that was, you know, older, older, yeah, they were product of slaves, man. It was product of slaves, and if you wouldn't, if you recognize, see, how, see how, how that affects the black family, because a lot of a lot of black women, man, a lot of black women, 
and 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 males have been put through it, man. We've been put through it. So you know what I mean. You have people like John Singleton, who you know he was a product of, of, the, of the '60s. You know what I'm saying? Like it was somebody who was around. You know, periods of time where you know, what I mean, black people were were still kind of you know, great. You know, we didn't fully just jump off the bridge yet. You understand what I'm saying? But we got to get it back, man. We got to get it back. You know, we 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 out here, we out here falling, man. We falling, we falling, yo. We falling out here, yo. We falling out here, man. We falling, man. We playing out here, man. We playing games, b. We need to go ahead and get this right. So, man, that's all I really wanted to chop it up with. We lost a good brother. John Singleton, man, you're going to be you're gonna be missed, bro. You're going to be missed, bro. People like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, a brother like me is going to try to continue on your influence and your legacy, sir. Because... I'm going to tell you right now, this whole week, I'm watching nothing but John Singleton. Matter of fact, I may watch John Singleton movies for the rest of the year. You understand what I'm saying? Trying trying to just take it back, man. Get it back, you understand? So we're going to miss you, man. Definitely going to miss you. You came with classics, man. You You came with... You came with... Images and imagery of... What we needed to see, man. John Singleton was that dude, man. He was that dude, man. Yeah. That's facts. Carol, that's facts. So you know anybody, man, that 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 grew up around this this time where John Singleton played the influence. Now, the crazy part is that because of the era we live in now. He officially passes, his movies is gonna go through the roof. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's like I'm gonna say, I ain't gonna say that's the best thing about this social media. But it's one of those things where, you know what I mean, the social media plays a part. And and how you you know what I'm saying, how things can can be for you. And if you're somebody like a John Sanger, man, his movies is probably about to skyrocket. Like you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to watch that Snowfall. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get back to watching that, but that's been heavily influenced. You understand what I'm saying? So, I salute to the to the, to the to the brother, man. I'm going to feel this one, man. This this is going to feel... Fuck. Ah. It's going to stay in there, man. He was only 51. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, we just got to keep taking taking care of yourselves, you know what I mean? We got to keep kind of, you know, trying to stay right and exact as possible. You understand what I'm saying? But, yo, it's your boy, Jay Scott, man. Hit me up on comedianjscott.com. Shit, hit my hashtag, W-T-F-I-S-U-R-P-R-O-B-L-E-M-B, question mark, which is what the fuck is your problem, B? And, uh, yeah, man, continue trying to, like, build, have a good, you know, <laughs> year is almost over with, you know what I mean? We try to hit this other quarter coming up, you know what I mean? Stay focused, you know what I mean? Uh, let's build, you know what I mean? Let's, let's keep, let's keep this, let's keep this pressure applied out here and let's make a difference, you know what I'm saying? I'm your boy, man. I'm out. Peace.